Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, OCD, is a chronic neuropsychiatric disorder characterized by obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are recurrent and persistent thoughts, images or impulses that are irrational, excessive or inappropriate. They are intrusive and cause significant anxiety or stress or distress. The individual attempts to avoid such thoughts and neutralize them with some other thoughts or actions called compulsions. Several theories including biological, cognitive and behavioral theories have been proposed to explain the possible causes of OCD. The cognitive model of OCD suggests that, while everyone occasionally experiences intrusive thoughts, people with OCD have an inflated sense of responsibility and overestimate its importance leading to damaging consequences. Their dysfunctional beliefs lead to reactions that are out of proportion leading to the development of obsessions. Eventually, the person develops compulsions to block or resist obsessive thoughts. Biological theories describe the causes in terms of biochemical imbalances in the brain, problems with the brain circuitry or genetic defects. It was initially suggested that low levels of serotonin are responsible, but the exact mechanism of dysregulation is not known. OCD is usually treated with Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT. While it can be distressing to admit how graphic or vivid the obsessive thoughts can be, it is important to seek professional help and share the details to get appropriate treatment. Treatment plans are guided by the severity and by how deeply the conditions affects daily life. Signs and symptoms of OCD are Obsessions Obsessions can be thoughts, words, images and or sounds. They could include Fear of contamination with dirt, germs, dust, sticky substances, environmental toxins, etc. Doubts about daily activities such as whether the door is locked or not, whether the gas knob is turned off or not, thoughts, images or urges related to sex, harm, including urges to harm self or others, and religion, such as thoughts of blasphemy, example, urges to abuse God. Symmetry, need to arrange items in a particular order, fear of getting an illness, such as AIDS, cancer, hepatitis, hoarding. Compulsions include washing and cleaning. Checking, example door locks, electrical outlets, gas knobs, repetition, example counting money, tracking accounts, rewriting, rereading, hoarding of useless items such as old newspapers, magazines, pens, bottles, mental rituals or compulsions such as praying, counting, contrast thinking, compulsive reassurance seeking from others regarding their doubts or confirming that they have not committed an inappropriate or immoral act. Tips on self-care and management A combination of different approaches including cognitive behavioral therapy, support groups and self-care practices can be most effective in managing the condition. If you are not feeling ready to talk openly about particular experiences, share them with a trusted relative or a friend. Sometimes, it can be helpful to write the feeling downs in a letter and discuss it when you are comfortable. Learning about obsessive-compulsive disorders and getting educated can help in reasoning the treatment options and can be motivating. Staying busy with work, hobbies or other activities can keep the mind away from obsessions and compulsions. Maintaining a generally healthy lifestyle like having a balanced diet and getting adequate sleep can have a positive impact on the treatment. Exercising is a good way to improve fitness and channel excess energy. Practicing relaxation techniques such as yoga, deep breathing or meditation are helpful in reducing anxiety. Enroll in support groups. Sessions with such groups can make you feel less isolated, accepted and safe. Online support groups are also a good choice. Tips for caretakers, family, friends, co-workers. If your loved one has OCD, encourage them to open up while staying calm and non-judgmental. Learn more about the disorder so that you can understand what the person is going through. Help the person get access to treatment and encourage them to seek medical help. If they are reluctant, remind them that what you share is confidential. You could also offer to go along and provide emotional support. Acknowledging their improvements can motivate them to progress further. Friends or relatives often get pulled into OCD behaviors of their loved ones. While it is easier and quicker to comply with their needs, 
and do what is asked of you, participating in the rituals, such as checking the locks for them, will reinforce their behaviors. While supporting someone with OCD, do not forget to take care of yourself. If you are overwhelmed and think you need help, get support.